What's up guys? So today is Tuesday, June 30th. And um, I thought I would ride a KLR to work this morning. It's going to be a nice day. It's going to be hot. But another reason I'm riding a KLR is because my truck battery died on me this morning. The other day I noticed that when I was starting it, it was... It didn't turn over as fast as it normally does, but it wasn't like it was dragging. It just wasn't as fast. And I thought then that it was on its way out and how, how, how right I was. So I'm pretty sure I looked at the battery this morning. And I'm pretty confident that's the original battery that came with the truck. And um, in my mind, it, it, looks, it looks pretty expensive. <laughs> So uh, when I get to work, I'll do some research and find out just how much this is going to cost. Always something, you know what I mean? Everything costs money these days. I'm sure that's going to be a, a $200 plus battery. But it is what it is, right? Isn't that what everybody says? My dad said it. Viper 6 says it. Muzzle Mike says it. Anyway, that's, uh, um, I'm not sure if I'll, I'm going to do the research today. I'll probably buy it online and pick it up somewhere local or have it delivered. Sometimes you can find them uh, cheaper that way. And you know, since I got the KLR, it's really not a super priority right now that I have to have it today. Even if it rains, I've got, um, you know, I've got a rain suit, right? And that while we ride these adventure bikes so we can get out in the weather. That's exactly right. So yeah, not much else going on other than that. You know, the last video I posted was uh, not much as me uh, talking head thing. I don't want to make any promises or any kind of uh, commitments, but a um, uh, box of chocolates and myself are thinking about planning a uh, motor, motor camping trip. We haven't decided on where now. We did have one planned for last April. But because of the COVIDs. The COVIDs. The COVIDs. The way to be silly. Because of the pandemic, uh, those plans were um, were canceled. And, um, you know, things happen. But um, we're surviving. We're still swinging it. The KLR delusionals are still... We're still delusionals. We're still talking on our little um, hangout group and um, we've tossed back and forth doing a live hangout, like a live stream thing. We just haven't worked out the details yet. And we've, we've been talking about it for a few months now. We just haven't all got together. We're scattered from East Coast to West Coast so it gets kind of hard to get everybody together at the same time, especially online. So uh, that's a quick update on uh, KLR stuff. Uh, let's see what else was I gonna mention now now that I've been the camping bug is starting to get all over me now and uh, looking at these little campers I haven't decided yet cause I've been reading and watching videos of pros and cons of some of these um these a-liner campers these little um, hard shell pop-ups I like to look at those the, how light they are but then I saw some vans and I don't I don't I don't want to afford to buy a van. That might be something I buy, you know, five or seven years down the road. But I would like to get a small tow-behind camper because then I can still take, you know, kayak and things like that with me. Um, so yeah, those little A-liners. I don't know what the model number are on them. Then I was also looking at some of the R pods because some of these could have for a reasonable price, you know, relatively speaking. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna. It's not like I got $10,000 cash to throw down on one. It'll definitely have to be financed. And I'm not going to do that this year. Probably going to come in a couple, three years, maybe. I got to try and pay off my HVAC system before I start buying anything else. But anyway, uh, that's what's going on. Uh, uh, this, oh yeah, and also, um, I'm sure it'll be a video, but I plan to go to sometime in July, I'm hoping. Um, there's a lake, uh, Lake Muma in Virginia, and it's out near where uh, Mountaineer Outdoors lives. So there might be a a, um, a kayak fishing video with myself and Mountaineer Outdoors next month. We'll see how that goes. He's working hard. 
he doesn't have as much uh, his uh, weekends aren't as free as mine are all the time because of his uh, work schedule but and I know he's got a vacation plan next month so that's also something to think about anyway uh, that's all I got for now see me if I can recap the, the topics that I covered dead battery in the truck uh, loosely planning a camping trip with box of chocolates loosely planning a kayak fishing trip with Mountaineer outdoors and that's about all I got all right well you guys uh, be safe and um, let's hope this country of ours settles down before we um, completely burn it to the ground all right y'all be safe talk to y'all again soon hours later all right well I'm on my way to pick up a battery for my truck I got my backpack and some other things I had to take to work today crammed in the left side of my panniers and I'm hoping the battery my new truck battery fits in the other one I got the large pannier so they're pretty wide uh, I'm not sure how wide this battery is going to be I should have checked before I uh, put it in the, the panniers but if nothing else I'll just come back in the morning to pick it up I guess we'll see so uh, more to come on that here in a minute As you guys can see, that battery fits in there with room to spare. Perfect. Now I just gotta bring the core in with me tomorrow. And I get my $22 back. I'm glad I had these boxes on, otherwise I would have had to have ran down the basement and put them on this morning when I realized my truck battery was dead. And you knew, I knew that it was going bad the other day because it started but it was um, really slow when it cranked up you know you just tell you've driven your own vehicle for for so long you kind of know that um, something ain't sounding right tell you what though it's heavy battery has got some weight on it so has anybody else ever had to pick up a car battery on their motorcycle it's a first for me hopefully the last but you got to be thankful you got I can't help but be thankful that I have the ability of making it to work when my truck dies because there was no I would have had to find somebody to take me you know to the auto parts store or call it uber or something ridiculous like that um my son lives close to me but he was out of town he's back now but there's he couldn't have done it this morning so i was just lucky i guess so i can say that this battery is probably the strangest thing that i've had to pick up on this motorcycle since i've owned it yeah, so put in the comments what's the strangest thing you've had to pick up. I'd love to hear about that one. So guys, I just want to take this couple of seconds here to thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Please leave a comment and I will always comment and get back to you guys. You know I always do. And if you're in the local area or you're passing through and you got time and I have time, maybe we can meet up for a cup of coffee, smoke a cigar, go for a motorcycle road motorcycle road go for a motorcycle ride or even wet a hook out in the river or pond somewhere i appreciate it y'all be safe and i'll talk to you again on the next video